Hi, this is Peter. In this video, I will show you how to install Istio Service Mesh on your Kubernetes cluster. To get started, we will go to istio.io and download the latest Istio release. On this page, you can find a lot of documentation and information on how to get started with Istio. First thing you need to do is to actually download Istio. To do that, click on the download link. This will take you to the GitHub releases page. At the time of recording this video, the latest Istio release was 1.2.5. From the list of files in this release, pick one that corresponds to your operating system and download it. I have already downloaded the latest Istio release and unpacked it in one of my folders. Let's go back to the website and see what options we have for installing it. I'll click the Get Started button, and then from the left sidebar, I will expand the Install option and pick the customizable Install with Helm link because I want to install Istio using Helm. Helm is a Kubernetes package manager, and using Helm charts, you can define, install, and upgrade Kubernetes applications. Let's switch back to the terminal and install Helm using Brew Package Manager. Once Helm is installed, let's run Helm version to make sure everything looks good. Note that the error that you get is because we haven't installed Tiller inside our Kubernetes cluster yet. There are two parts to Helm, the client-side CLI and the server-side component called Tiller. So Tiller lives and runs inside Kubernetes and talks to the Kubernetes API server to install, upgrade, query, and remove Kubernetes resources. It also stores the objects that represent Helm releases. Before we go and install Tiller in the cluster, we are going to create a Kubernetes service account for Tiller and assign it the cluster admin role. Let's see how the service account and the cluster role binding look like. So let's open the Helm service account file that's in install Kubernetes Helm, Helm service account.yaml file. In this file, we are defining a service account called Tiller that's going to get deployed to the cube system namespace. Additionally, we are also defining a cluster role binding resource, and this resource is going to bind the service account with the cluster admin role. The cluster admin role gives Tiller full control over every resource in the cluster and at all namespaces. Let's go back to the console and actually create these resources in the cluster. Let's run kubectl apply f because we're providing the file and the same path that we used before, which is install Kubernetes Helm, Helm service account .yaml. With service account and cluster role binding created, we can go ahead and initialize Helm by providing the service account name. So we're going to type help in it dash dash service dash account and tiller as that's the name of the service account that we created. The output of command is telling us that tiller has been installed into the cluster, but it's also telling us that tiller was deployed with an insecure allow unauthenticated users policy. Usually you should not ignore these kind of warnings. However, since we're installing this on Minikube and Docker for Mac, you should be fine. But if you're ever installing this in non-development environments, make sure to check the link below to see how you can secure your installation. With Tiller initialized, we can run Helm version again to make sure that everything is good. This time, we also get a response back from the server that shows the version and the git commit. The first step is to install Istio Custom Resource Definitions, or CRDs. To install this, let's type Helm install, and we're gonna Type the path to the Istio init folder, and we're going to name this release Istio init, and we're going to deploy it into Istio system namespace. Now, even though Helm install command returns right away, you could still see that there are a couple of pods with the status set to container creating. Additionally, it also takes a little while for the custom resource definitions to get applied. We do know that there should be 23 of them. So we can quickly check by running kubectl 
get CRDs and then grep for STO.io. And let's count all the currencies. So there are 23 of them, which means that STO init and all the CRDs were successfully applied. All right, we're almost ready to install Istio. The next thing that we need to do is to actually pick which features we want to install. To help you with that decision, there are a couple of configuration profiles that you can choose from. So let's go back to the Istio IO website, and down here we can click on the configuration profile to see which features I included in which configuration profile. The default one has pretty much everything with the exception of the egress gateway, Grafana, Tracing, and Kiali. The one that we are gonna go with is the demo one, as this one has everything installed, as it's, and it is the most appropriate one to go through all the features and to get familiar with Istio. There's also a minimal installation that only includes the pilot, as well as the auth installation. Let's switch back to the terminal and use Helm to install Istio with the demo configuration profile. So I'm still in the Istio folder, and from here, I'm going to run Helm install, and I'm going to pass in the folder name, which is the Istio chart name. I'm gonna name the release Istio. I'm also going to deploy it in the Istio namespace. Finally, I'll provide a path to the values file, and this value, this file is where the configuration profile, the demo one that we're going to use, is defined. So this one is called values istio demo dash, oops, istio demo dash auth.yaml. So let's do this. The installation might take a little while and there isn't going to be any progress outputted to the terminal. So make sure you wait for a couple of minutes before you give up. To verify installation has completed, we can look at the status of the pods that are running in the Istio namespace. Let's type kubectl get pods and pass in the Istio namespace. And as you can see, all the pods are up and running, and it means that Istio was successfully installed. There is one final thing that I usually do after I install Istio, and that is to label the default namespace for automatic sidecar injection. This is gonna help you later when you're deploying applications, and you don't have to think about injecting sidecars manually. To enable automatic sidecar injection, we need to label the namespace with a specific label. To do that, let's type kubectl label namespace, and we're going to label the namespace called default. And we're gonna set the label istio injection equals to enable. And that's it. Anytime you deploy something to the default namespace, the istio sidecar proxy will get automatically injected. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in more Istio, Service Mesh, Kubernetes, and cloud-native content, check out learnistio.com.